Right. Uh, last time when we are doing physics, I was doing a summary of uh, I was doing a summary of uh, density because we realized not everyone was at the same level from the different streams. So I went through a number of uh, issues about density. I think we even did an example on density, and I said this this week when we meet, I will be going through density of mixtures, then we shall talk about relative density. The other time we talked about applications of density for which we say is one used to test for purity of substances. For example, we said gold, once we know the density of pure gold, it means that it is possible that even if you landed on anything and someone is lying to you that it is gold by now you have the knowledge to test whether that substance is really gold or it is not gold as someone says it's not here in teacher probably you have to connect it to audio you may have not connected to audio can someone in the inbox help uh who zawede is it a zawede or so and she's, she has not connected to audio and therefore she's not hearing me. So I was saying by now we have the knowledge of testing the purity or making a judgment of whether something is pure or it is not pure. I gave an example of gold. We also gave examples of three species. We said, supposing you are going to the carpentry shop and you want to buy furniture, but probably you have a specific wood species you want. And then they tell you, ah, oh, we have three samples here. Which one do you choose? We, we, we gave an example and actually went through on how we can choose and advise accordingly. <clears throat> uh, we also, I, I remember I had talked about something to do with the milk, that supposing you have a dairy shop and you are buying milk from farmers and you want to check whether the milk is pure or it has been diluted. Uh, you have, we now have the knowledge of how we can check whether the milk is pure or not pure. All we need is to have a chart having the standard uh, densities of the different substances. So that for any sample we want to test, we can do whatever we do, all the procedures required until when we get its density. And now we can relate the density obtained experimentally with the standard density of a given object. Okay. Uh, Asha, you are being warned. By the way, I'll, I'll not, I'll not quarrel with anyone. Once you can't listen to those advices from colleagues, I'll just remove you from the class. You attend the next lesson, that is tomorrow. So stand one. If we misuse the chat room, I just remove you. I won't close it because others are using it profitably. So for the benefit of others, I just remove the misuser from the class. Good. Um, now I want to go through test of mixtures. And then thereafter, we shall go through relative density and we shall call it a chapter. The next time we meet, we are starting a new chapter. I think it is matter and its properties. So I, I, ex, I expect that by the end of this lesson, all those who are not finished density or measurements, they will be at par with us. Now today we want to look at the density of mixtures. Density of mixtures. Uh, under this one, we are saying, supposing, for example, we know alloys. Who know what an alloy is from chemistry? What are alloys? Anyone? Aha, Navide. Navide Rihanna. Um, an, alloy, an alloy is a combination of two or more metals. 
a uh, combination of two or more metals is what we call an alloy. Uh, very good, there are many people who had the answers, but let's go with that one. I think it summarizes all what you want to say. Now, under these alloys, you have a number of alloys. You have, for example, bronze is an alloy. You have brass is an alloy. Did you know that steel is also an alloy? Any other? There are many others, but these ones are actually alloys. And then one tell us bronze is a combination of what and what? Bronze, yes, not steel. Bronze. Uh, bronze is a mixture of bronze is a mixture of copper mm -hmm. and zinc. Copper and zinc. What I'm sure copper, copper is not them, but not zinc. It's not zinc. Bronze. Copper and tin. It's and tin. 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 Yeah. Copper and tin. Ah, then copper. we have brass. What about steel? Carbon and iron. Carbon iron and iron. Carbon and iron. So, in the making of these materials, obviously each one of them has its own functions, and the, the functions depend actually on how dense it is and so on. Uh, someone is saying solder is tin and lead. That's another example. Solder. But solder is made up of tin and lead and tin. And lead. Very good. So who knows the function of solder? But where do we need solder? Solder, solder, solder. Joining, joining metals. Solder wire. Uh -huh. joining, joining metals. Binding metals, very good. Joining metals. Joining, joining metals. Uh -huh. So when, uh, when you go to an electronic workshop, when they are attaching those wires on the, the, the circuit board, they use solder wire. Normally they call it solder wire. And they use what they call a solder gun. So that is solder. Still, there are a number of utensils made of steel. Normally, when you want those ones which can't rust, steel does not rust. Unlike if you use iron alone. Iron will rust, steel will not. So there are many utensils where they write stainless steel. Brass, and the function of brass, it is a common material when I'm used in ornament. Making? Making. On our heads and then or even wires, thick wires. Screws. Ah, still telling us many alloys. Let's just take this one. Uh -huh. The aluminum, yeah, something like that. Uh -huh, those ones. A bronze. What's the, 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 the use of a bronze? Making a medal for failures. Bryce Gopak. Machine fashion purposes. For making musical instruments. For okay. making musical instruments. So there are many. But now when they are making a bronze, it does not necessarily mean that they will get 50% of copper and 50% of tin. What's the, the, the symbol for tin? Do I remember? Tin, symbol, chemistry. Mm -hmm. SN? Is it SN? Tin. Probably SN because SI is silicon. SN is tin. If I remember my senior one chemistry. Very, yeah. very nice back. Uh -huh. So it is not obtained by combining 50 50. They are actually in terms of percentages. Actually, I, I think the last time I was checking, bronze has around 39% of 
methane. Then the rest is copper. So you realize that if we wanted, for example, the density of bronze, it will not be right to say the density of copper and the density of tin, then we get the average. It is not right. Why? We are not even mixed as percentage. We are not equal amounts anyway. So such are the mixtures we are talking about. Another example is when you dilute milk, water has its own density, pure milk has its own density. Now, when you put water in the milk, which density does the, the mixture now get? Those are the mixtures we are talking about. How do we obtain their densities? Okay. Now, Uh, again, when we are getting the density of a mixture, we don't go away from the formula. The formula still remains density equal to mass out of volume. That means if you are talking about a mixture, then the density of the mixture of mixture will equal to mass of the mixture out of volume of the mixture. Now, all along under measurements, when you are looking at mass, you say the mass does not change. It means that if I combine, for example, 50 grams of copper with 100 grams of zinc, the total mass will remain 50 plus 100. The mass does not change. Then for substances which sometimes do not mix chemically, volumes also don't change. If I have one liter of milk and I add in a half liter of water, volume is going to be one liter and a half. So volumes do not change. That would mean, this one means mass of A plus mass of B divided by volume of A plus volume of So we are saying you can do with that, we just get the volume of one compound, with a compound, one element plus the volume of another element. When we add those two volumes, we have the volume of the mixture. Also, we get the mass of one element plus the mass of the other element. We have the mass, total mass of that mixture. And then we use like that. Are we together? Okay. Remember, as I said, if you are yes, not sir. putting up the hands, you mute. Someone is okay. listening. I promised to be removing you. There is no more warning. For example, Suma, I'm going to remove you. First of all, use right there your actual names. There is this one called A. S1 South. Can you please write your full name? Uh -huh. Can you also say total mass over divided by total volume? I think it's right to say so. This one already means total. Even this one is total. It's fine. Uh -huh. Suma, they are telling you to mute. That's the last warning. They, are, they actually love you. For me, I was going to remove you. Okay, if you have this one, you can just look at an example. Unless there is a question so far. Any question? I'm going to rub. I'm going to rub. I want to write an example. Wait, um... uh, example. I'm <laughs> 
Something of broken heart screams. You make a Eh, banana. We have an example there. 250 cubic mm. centimeters of water of just one gram per centimeter cube uh, added to a thousand cubic centimeters of milk of density 1.03 grams mm. per centimeters cubed. What is the density of the resulting mixture? So we already know the formula. Density should be total mass over total volume. So all we need to use this information for is to help us get the total mass and also get the total volume so that we can use it here. I'm giving one minute to write the question before we start. I don't think it's necessary, maybe examples only. Uh, now I'm not following that discussion, but at least there are too many here. Let me check whether they are relevant before I close this chat room. But again, I don't want to close with there are those ones who will be using it profitably. The best is to remove those who are misusing. Uh, yes, we did it. This is Mr. Byman. Brine is a common salt with water, that's good. So we are saying things and break down things. But we're not doing that either. <laughs> You cannot be admitted in the class again. So, Mujita and this lesson. You wish to mute. Otherwise, I'm removing you. Like everybody, find yourself. Patricia, your hand is up. Say something. Thank you, teacher. Uh, teacher, you were blocking the blackboard. All right. I love that the, the display. Eh? Now, Winnie, you have something to say? Marilyn. Yeah, I just wanted to do the number. Do the number. Hey, uh -huh. what do we do? We start with density is equal to mass over volume. Density is mass over volume. And then the density of this mixture is mass of water plus mass of milk out of volume of water plus volume of milk. So this is mass of water plus mass Milk of milk volume is equal of to volume of milk, volume of water plus mass of milk. Okay, if we can use those letters to symbolize volumes and, and masses, huh? 
Yes. We know that they are not standard symbols. Okay. Uh -huh. In the question, we are not given mass of water. What do we do there for? Neither are given mass of the milk. What do we do? We are going to use the symbols as we keep on trying to get this like last time. So if we're not given mass of water, we'll still leave it as mass of water mm -hmm. plus the mass of milk is 1.03 grams yeah. per centimeter. Now, maybe you cut it Maybe to cut the story short, that since mm -hmm. we don't know the mass of the water, but at least we know its volume and we know its density. Then again, this formula does not only apply to the mixture. It even applies for the individual components of the mixture. So even for water, if we want to, for example, mass of the water, it would be density of the water times the volume of the water. That is from this formula again. Are we together? Yes, teacher. I hope mass is given by density times this, huh? Yes, it is. So this one can mean density of water times the volume of water plus density of milk times the volume of milk. Because each one of these ones gives us the individual masses. And then I can say over the volume of the water plus the volume of the milk. Is everyone following? Yes. This one are given. We are just prosecuting. Dense of the water was given as one. So where there is dense of water, I will put one times volume of the water was given that it was 250. So I'm putting 250. Then I close that bracket. That one is giving me the mass of the water. Um, Plus, don't you have to put mm -hmm. the dense? SI the dense. units? The dense? Yes, the, the units. Uh -huh. Someone is saying, can we put the units? It is fine to put the units. But why am I keeping it in this one? Because our question is all in these smaller units. Therefore, we can choose to keep it in those ones. Unless the question is telling us, find the density in the SI unit. However, if you choose to also change everything to the SI units, no problem. It will still be correct. Okay, we finish. Density of the milk was given. 1.03. 1.03. 1 times volume of the milk. <laughs> Was given as one thousand. of the milk was one thousand cubic feet. One thousand. Uh -huh. Over. Volume of the water is two fifty. Out of. Plus. Out of. The volume is given directly. So. <clears throat> so why have you put the volume under when you have mouth flat? Thousand. Thousand. Oh, yeah. Can we have one person at a time? Agaba Franklin. Agaba Franklin, the floor is yours. Teacher, I was asking. I was asking. Hmm. Why have you divided with the volume down when you have Multiply it up with the volume again. There is this one. We are we are coming from density is mass over volume. But we said since we are dealing with a mixture, this mass is mass of component A plus component B of the mixture. And this mixture is water and milk. Therefore, this mass is mass of water plus mass of the milk. And the, we are not given these masses directly in the question, but we are given density and the volume. Therefore, from mass is equal to density times the volume, I'm able to get the mass of the water. It can also help me to get the mass of the milk. 
That's why we wrote them like this. Huh? Density of water times volume of water gives me the mass of water, which is this. Density of the milk times volume of the milk gives me the mass of the milk, which is this one. So these multiplications are coming in because we were not given the mass directly. We had to first calculate for them. There's another student who will choose not to write it here, but first calculates those values aside. It is still fine. You just bring here the figure after calculating it. No problem. For us, we just wanted to make the work not bulky by putting everything at once. Teacher, can you please zoom close to the blackboard? I can't see. I think that is a problem with your network. Is everyone not seeing? Yeah. We're seeing. We're seeing. There's a network on her yeah. side. Uh -huh. Those the to the primary, what is the answer here? Yeah. What is the meaning is mathematics? There is no physics anymore. Uh, this time, this is uh, 250. 250. Uh -huh. Plus? 1,001.03. Like that? Oh, another three. 1,001.03. One, two, three. Uh -huh. Over 155. What do we get? Okay. So what is what, what do we get here is the final answer. I want the final answer. It's one thousand it's one thousand one zero point zero three. Should it be in terms of one point something? This is not very big. One thousand two hundred eight. and therefore grams. One point zero two four. So that becomes the density teacher. The, the, who are going through messages. Shall we put time to read all this? Teacher, the chalkboard ain't clear. Your network, please. For yes. others, it's clear. It means the problem yeah. is not this right. Teacher, please repeat the definition. Definition of what? No, we have not defined anything here. Definition of density. Each of the numerators are faint, network issues for others, it is not, they are not faint. Uh, network is on and off, I have not gotten the working. Probably you'll access the recorded lesson because we are recording good enough. Hey, you meant the working, not the definition. I thought the working is clear. Overall, density is mass divided by volume. Mass of the mixture over volume of the mixture. The masses are not given directly, so we are using the formula to get them. Mass is density times volume. Mass is density times volume. And the rest are okay, I guess. Uh, we can't be repeating one thing every other time. That's why we recorded the lesson, so that you can go and review the lesson as a recorded. Otherwise, we have to move on. I hope the biggest percentage, we know how we have come to this. Now this one becomes the density of the mixture. I want you to realize that this one is not average. Someone else, someone else would have said, why don't you get the average density of the mixture? Why can't we get the density of the water? That's density of the milk, and then we divide by two. Let's check whether we get the same answer. Density of water, they said, is one. Density of milk, 1.03. When we divide by two, do we get this one? And someone quickly work out that one and see. So that we are able to realize that the average does not correspond with the correct answer. When we ask you to get the 
the density of a mixture Teacher, what's the average? Twenty-one point six. One point zero. People forgot the answer. One point five. What's the answer? One point zero one five. that the answers are completely different. So never never get the average test and you think you have got the best of the mixture. That is not correct. Mm -hmm. Natalie is enjoying it, but it is okay. You can dance, but please remove the volume, I mean the video, so that you don't disorganize others who are concentrating. I you can it it's Eddie. It's Eddie. Yeah. Is it? Hey. Okay, that is it. Now, that has to do with the density of mixtures. Even if they are metals, like we talked about bronze, we talked about brass, we talked about this, we exactly use the same method. Okay? Now, I want us to do some, I think I have to first finish even a relative this so that we'll look at it at once. Before we do another example here, I want us to look at what we call relative density. Relative density. I can clear off this. Yeah. Yes. Relative density. Anyone to quickly define for us relative density? Yes, Bukenya Alia. Relative density is the relative density. You seem to be having a device nearby which is bringing in an echo. No, okay, what about now? Is the ratio of the density of a substance to that of water? Okay. The ratio of the density of a substance to the density. That's very true. Mathematically, this means the relative density is equal to density of a substance divided by density of your. Very good. So that means what's the density of copper? What's the density of copper? Relative density is the ratio of density to substance to density of water. Good. Uh -huh. Now, here, you can go to Mr. Google, sir. In the, fact, if you have the density one, of copper, the density of uh -huh. copper is 800, 8,944 kilograms per meter cube. Okay, someone is putting 8.92, another one is had put 8.9. Uh-huh. 
Okay, let's take an hour. Eight point nine. Khalid, your hand is up. Nine six. Khalid. Mariam says eight point nine. Uh -huh. Eight point nine three. Eight point nine six. Eight point nine. Who has Mr. Google and you, 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 you share the screen? Just type in densities of, sub, of uh, substances and put densities of ordinary substances. Uh huh. Palema Shiba, thank you. We want that chart, yeah? Densities of. Density of copper here says 8.96. We may want that chart. Huh? Uh, just click on that chart and we get the density of other substances. Very good. Scroll. We shall assume that the, 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 those, those ones are correct. Yeah? Uh -huh. For example, we have gold 19.3. So let's pick up the one for. We're talking about copper first, 8.96. We can go with that one for now. This one says 8.92, the reddish copper. So 8.92 grams per centimeter cubed. What is the relative density? What is the density of copper? Now, it is a standard that we know that the density of copper is, I mean, the density of water is one gram per centimeter cubed, which is the same as 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed. Shifa, your hand is up. Say something. Shifa? Sorry, it is forgotten there. Yeah. Marion, yours is up. Excuse me, teacher. Yes, please. Teacher, I wanted to add another definition of this. Yeah, we this. shall come to that. Huh? Don't, don't forget it. Let's first finish with this one. Huh? Okay. Let's first do an example do with this, then we shall come back here. Okay. So here we have said the relative density is density of the substance over density of water. And we are saying since the density of copper is given in grams per centimeter cubed, even the one for water, we are going to, to use it in terms of grams per centimeter cubed. And it is the standard for water is one. Yes, you have to excuse go. <laughs> Marion mute. Well, we want it to be dramatic. Huh? We want our lesson to be interactive, but those ones who are disturbing us, you may force us to mute all, which I did not want to hear. It is beautiful when it is interactive. So, answer. 8.92. Now, I want us to realize one thing here is that this density is probably in grams per centimeter cubed. But even in the one of water is also in grams per centimeter cubed. Meaning that these units are going to cancel because they are the same. And therefore, I want to make a conclusion that the relative density has no unit. Once we ask you for relative density, it has no unit. Are we together? Yes. yes. The answer is 8.92 without units. Once you don't put units, we know that is now relative density. But if you put units, it means you are still talking of the density of the copper. Mm -hmm. 
you just say it has no unit because when SI is part of it. Okay, there is an issue here. Can we just say relative density has no SI units? We are saying whether SI or not SI units, relative density has no units. So the, the best statement is relative density has no units. Amal Bushra, your hand is up. Yes. I wanted to, I, I'm asking, um, mm -hmm. how can you know the density of water? Uh, just like we go to the density of copper, we have a chart that tells us the standard densities of different substances. Water like, inclusive. So like in an exam, will they give you the density of water inside the equation? Even if they don't give you, when they say water and they have not said maybe salt or water or it has any impurities, when they say water, we, we ideally say that they are meaning pure water. And the pure water, the, the density is standard. One gram per centimeter cubed or 1,000 kilograms per meters cubed. So even if you are not given, you just write it there because it is a standard value. Answered? Yes. Good. Now we want to look at the other definition. Someone said this has a different definition. Who was that? What's the other definition? Teacher here. Marion, your heart was Marion, I think. Yes. Let's start now. This is the ratio of any mass with a substance to the mass of an equal volume of water. Uh -huh. The ratio of the mass of a substance to the mass of an equal volume of water. This one is very important and more useful in our daily life, especially when you don't have Mr. Google, sir. Why? It's from Mr. Google, sir, that we can tell, we, we can download the chart having the standard densities of different substances. But supposing you can't access that chart, what do you do? Uh, let's first hear from Nachite and Elisha. Oh, No, teacher, I just wanted to give a little bit of Rita, I'm going to remove you from our class. Relative density is the ratio of the weight of a substance to the weight of an equal volume of water. Uh huh. So. She's changing this one to weight and this one. Eh? The wording is still the same, but instead of mass, she's using weight. This has no problem because as you shall see, it still comes back to weight is mass times acceleration due to gravity. And then the, the gravity, the G will cancel out. But ideally, you remain with the mass. Okay. So I was saying this definition is quite important to us. In a, in, a, in, an, in, a, in a case where you don't have standard densities of different objects. For example, someone finds here and says, oh, we have, maybe I have some chalk here. Or I find a piece of rock and I tell you, uh -huh, find the relative density of this rock. You don't know whether it is copper, you don't know whether it is the, uh, aluminum, you don't know whether it is Egyptian or cobalt, whatever the case. So how do you tell 
Now this one becomes a better method of using this. What we do, uh, according to this mathematical, it means the relative density is equal to mass of the substance. Mass of substance out of mass of an equal volume. Equal volume of water. So what shall we do? I just have to get that object I have found, where, which, which I'm, I'm required to find its relative density. I measure its mass, probably using a beam balance. I'll also require to get its volume. I know that with the volume, if the object is regular, I can use a formula. If it is irregular, I can use the displacement yeah. method. So I get the volume of that object. Now, when I get that volume, I exactly measure the same volume of water. Are we getting the point here? Exactly the same volume. Supposing the object has a volume of 20 cubic centimeters. And this is the volume of the object. And I measure the mass of that object. Maybe it is a 50 grams. I will come and measure exactly 20 cubic centimeters of pure water. I also measure the mass of that water. So that the relative density is going to be this 50 grams divided by the mass of 20 cubic centimeters of water. An equal volume, if the object is 20, you exactly measure 20 of water. If the object is 100 cubic centimeters, you exactly measure 100 cubic centimeters of water. Then you get the mass of that water. And then you come and substitute the mass of the substance, which you will have measured using a beam balance, and then the mass of an equal volume of water, which you will have also measured. You come and divide. The answer you get is the relative density of that substance. Are we together? Excuse me, teacher. Yes, please. I was asking what you mean. I thought that the ratio of mass of a substance to the mass of an equal volume of water. You get the mass of a substance and even the mass of the, of the water. Is it supposed to be equal? Like, let us say uh, how you have said 50 grams of a substance and then 50 grams of water. No. Actually, what we are saying here That's is... What do you mean? Okay, let me come to that one. Huh? Let's, let's look at this. Supposing you carried uh, 20 liters of water, unfortunately, many of you have grown up from towns, eh? so the water is under sink, everything is just inside. Now, for people like us who have tested both village life and town, eh? we used to carry water from the stream or from the river. If you are carrying one jerry can, maybe five liters of water, and someone else brings five liters of paraffin, which one will be heavier than the other? They are both five liters. Five liters of water. The paraffin will be heavier. The what? This is a typical city life now. You even don't know what paraffin looks like. The water will be more heavier. The water will be heavier. The, water the, paraffin. the paraffin. But, uh, the water. Is water. Let me see. Who's paraffin? Water. Water. It is water. Anyway. Okay, water. Water is denser. Water. Okay. Water. I really don't blame many of you when, when, when the answer is not okay. There, there are some people who even don't know how a male, a male goat looks like and a female one. When you go to the village, they tell you there is even a tomato plant in the, the compound. They say, go and bring tomatoes. You say, but I'm not seeing the fridge. When you are even seeing the tomatoes just in the compound. <laughs> anyway, back to business. Huh? 
uh, ideally water is denser than paraffin. So when I say measure five liters of water and five liters of paraffin, this is water and this is paraffin. We are saying water will be heavier while the paraffin will be lighter. In this case, we are saying we are equal volumes. The volumes are equal, five liters, five liters, but the masses are different. So even here we are saying, you get the volume of the substance and exactly measure the same volume, but this time of water, just like you have here, five liters of water, and you have exactly the same volume, five liters, but this time of paraffin, that's what we are meaning here. I can, I can get a piece of rock. Maybe I've picked it somewhere and I want to get the relative density. So I just go and use displacement method and I determine the volume of this rock. Maybe the volume becomes 75 cubic centimeters. If I want the relative density, I will go to water and measure off 75 cubic centimeters of water meaning I have measured exactly an equal volume. But this one does not mean the masses will also be equal because water and this rock have different densities, so they will weigh differently. Just like paraffin weighs different from water. I hope I'm clear at this point. Right. Teacher, I'm not clear. Let's do an example. Probably it will be better that way. Uh huh. Now, teacher, I, I have a request I would like to make. Okay. Teacher, please may you close the chat because, okay, like people are having a huge argument and it's like distracting. Oh, thank you for that reminder. Yes. I like mm. having a huge argument. And... Ah. The one uh, K has, has posted the last one. Ha. Thank you, <laughs> Last one is ha. Aha. Uh -huh. Before the example, I wanted us to say uh, we don't have to think that this definition is contrary to this one. They actually mean the same. One is coming from the other. Why? I can't see you or hear you. I think you're, you're frozen. Yes. I thought I was the only one. Me neither. His network bandwidth is low. No, we can't hear here. Yeah. Teacher, I'm frozen, but I cannot see yes, you. I've been here crying, thinking it was my internet. <laughs> we have the best internet ever. <laughs> oh, what a joke. Guys, let's behave. The lesson is still being recorded. Gabby. You guys, the lesson is being recorded. Just a reminder. Keep your composure. The lesson, is, the lesson is being recorded. Don't forget they're going to post it on YouTube. So anything you write is being heard and seen. Is teacher still there? No. No. But he's coming back. Um, excuse me, whoever is screen sharing. Please stop. Question like it's related to the work is that uh -huh. free? Yeah. So like someone can give another. I don't remember who it was. Right? Yeah, it's so sharing. Yeah, screen sharing. 
relative density for keep ordering. Yes, first keep quiet. Someone. The person has a question. Please keep quiet. Someone wants to ask a question. Like, I would want you to ask how you guys like understood the thing because I'm still kind of confused on when teacher says, Yeah. Like, like, how you're supposed to transform that statement equal volume of water. So it's like, is there a, a place or time whereby you're going to add somewhere or something? Because I'm still kind of lost. So how did you guys understand what teacher said? Okay. Um. For example, let me. Um. Ali, I'm not sure because I'm also still confused. I think is oh, sorry. like when they give you um for for specifically when you're using the mass, it is mass of of the mix of sorry of the subject of the substance out of the mass of the equal volume of the yeah, water. Yeah, but I still don't so understand the mass that of the substance is supposed to have the same volume like the volume is supposed to be exactly the same as the muscle as the, as that as that of the, the volume yes. um for example let me say the, the volume, volume. Okay, first finish the explanation for example let me say the, the volume, volume of that of um of us <laughs> of a rock is 50 centimeters cubed also the volume of the water must be Mm. Must be 50 cubic centimeters. That's the basic meaning. That's the other okay. meaning. We are going to look at an example. I'm sure it will be understandable so quickly. But I just wanted us to quickly look through our saying. This definition is not different from this in meaning. In wording, they are different, but in meaning, they mean the same. Why? We already looked at the formula for determining mass as the density times volume. So when I talk of mass of a substance, it means density of the substance times the volume of the substance. When I say mass of an equal volume of water, I will still be meaning density of water times yeah. the volume of water. But what this one means Have you seen it? is that this volume of Vs must be equal to this volume. They must be equal. If they are equal, it means they cancel out. We get the meaning here. What this on mass of an equal volume means the volume of the water should be exactly equal to the volume of the so, substance. So this V and this V are equal, and therefore they can cancel out. What do I mean with density of the substance over density of water, which is the first definition? So they are not different, they are just different in wording and but the meaning is basically the same. In fact, definition number one comes from definition number two, or otherwise. Oh, okay, teacher, ah. thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So let me, let's have an example quickly. Then we can just in a brief, in a short time discuss what we can use relative density for. to do this mm. if i don't my mom mm -hmm. and i'm going to look stupid okay. yes. them to be... yeah it's an experience people please mute that's a new 
Drop again. I want to drop a name. Yeah. Now, wait, wait. Okay, I'll let me show you. Mm -hmm. Come on, you girl, you just. Yeah, girl. Look so mad. If you say that you hate, I will kill you. Is really giving you time. Guys, this is my eight. Thank you, that's all for the club. So, we have a sample example there. Uh, Asha, you have something to say, Nama Gende. Meanwhile, we'll be writing that example quickly. Nama Gembe. Yeah, where yeah, your hand is up. Now, Queen Rodi Zit Tashkurun and the Akampo is a mute. The next time you write those names, which we don't know, I just remove you from the class. Those are more worried some people will be called coronavirus here and everyone will run away from the class. <laughs> Isabel and Gabriela. You are your sisters, or one is a, is a neighbor? Yeah. Sisters. Sisters, eh? I, I thought one is a neighbor studying from a band of vocation. <laughs> What about Edith? Edith, Edith, today you are going to pay fees two times. You are about the whole family is attending the lesson now. Finished? Very good. No, teacher, now, please wait. Teacher, we are finished. One minute. Thank you. Have you finished? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Uh, yes, teacher. No. Thank you, teacher. No, teacher. Okay, one yes, more minute. One more minute. Thank you, teacher. This is not okay, teacher. Look at someone else. Sound like teacher. Whoever that is, please. The lesson is being recorded. Okay. 
I'm sure we are done. Experiment. Don't do no short run. Don't teach a wait. Hey, ah, uh, that uh, time is now. Teach a wait. Teach a wait. These guys are waiting. You write one statement and the first one is simple as if it is the president giving. So, one thing I just wanted to, to realize here for those who had issues. Huh? Now, mass of the empty measuring cylinder it was 25. Then in that cylinder, we are putting in 50 cubic centimeters of the oil. And when we measure, it is weighing this. When we put in the water, it must be exactly the same volume. That's why we are also putting 50 cubic centimeters of water. If you put a different figure here, then what you are getting is not a relative density. With the relative density, the volumes of the two must be equal, must be equal. That's why here we are having 50 of oil, 50 of water. The masses can vary, they can be different, but the volumes must be equal. And therefore, if you want the relative density, you say it is mass of the substance over mass of an equal volume of water. Volume of water. Equal volume. It's very important. So how do we get the mass of the substance from these results? I think we should subtract the the, cil the mass of the cylinder from the mass of the cylinder with 50 the mass of, centimeters the mass of, of oil from the mass of, I mean the mass the of mass the measuring cylinder from the mass of the cylinder with the oil. I guess, I guess you are meaning is 72 minus 25. Yes. Uh -huh. So that will be the mass of the oil. In this case, the substance is the oil. Which is then, 50. Mass of an equal volume of water. We already know that the volumes are equal. So we are taking the results as they are. So what will be the mass of the water? 50 cubic centimeters. I mean, sir. Uh, that is volume. The volume, yeah. Mass of, the formula says mass. Eh? Mass is equal to density times volume. But we are having these values here. These are masses. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. So what you say? 75. 25. Now, if you are not with us on up to that level, you lay out your view. My son, say something. Sorry, I just forgot my hand up. I just wanted to give how to find the uh, relative density. Thank you. But I, I, I first of all thank my son for that for that managerial skills. Once our network misbehaved, someone looked at me with a bad eye here. Actually looked at the MiFi with a bad eye and the network disappeared. I will not show you who. If you are there waiting to see the face, no way. But when it, we went off, my son took over and took over and the managed. Which we already know. I have asked her a question. I asked you know her. You know her? Hey, sorry. Uh -huh. Tisha, I got 47 out of 50. Uh, Tom Sangi, you have issues up to this point? No, teacher, I, I've seen. I had seen that 75 or 72, so I was confused, but oh. I'm okay now. So I think uh, we can. Agaba? Agaba? Well, Agaba is I'm right. still confused on that step. At that step, what? Huh? Mm -hmm. If you wanted your weight, you, you as, 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 as Agaba, 
Some of you, you want to confuse us when you are going for measuring your weight, you wear very huge shoes so that <laughs> they add some weight. When they say, you know, on the big balance, they say, how to the blue ones. But in actual sense, if we told you to remove the shoes, you'd remain in the 37. You are like a goat on the 37. Teacher, are you sure 37? <laughs> Good enough, I didn't mention so it. If it is you, <laughs> that's what I <laughs> So, assuming it is 37, that means if you are complete, you have removed all the clothing, the shoes, and everything, you remain in this one. Uh, it means that the other part, uh, about how many? 13 kilograms. <laughs> By the way, it is possible 13. One time I, fell, I found a lady putting on a young necklaces. But the necklace was like a CD. Eh? You know this? this. Hey. <laughs> Just imagine <laughs> that, that the whole ear was like stretched down like this. Mine is hard. Hers was even soft. So it was down like this. This time it was not even a cage on was in one day here, here. A real seed, it was even glittery. People are suffering with the beauty. <laughs> Just I, look more funny. Hey, teacher. I, 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 I'm, I'm yeah. sure. so, you have not seen people who are suffering with the high yield shoes. Huh? <laughs> we have seen them. <laughs> now, actually, yesterday, Yesterday I found another one who was suffering eating because she had put lipstick. <laughs> and now one has opened the mouth very wide so that that suffering. Is that one coming from me? What is that doing? How is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. She was, she was eating, but there was lipstick, and therefore the food has not to touch the lipstick. And had it open wide. I sympathize with the help. You have seen such people, even you yourself. Even me, myself, I do that. Especially when you, especially when you want to do a party where you are not invited, you want to be in the square. Now you're doing comedy. So. You know that you cannot pour water on the beam balance directly. You must put it in a container, and then you put the container for measuring. Now, if you put, for example, the water, 50 cubic centimeters in the measuring cylinder, and you put everything on the beam balance, and the beam balance rate is 75. Is really the whole of 75 the mass of water? We are saying no. The container is also contributing. The measuring cylinder is also contributing on this 75. So what do we do? If you know the mass of the empty container alone, we should subtract it away from the 75 so that the remaining mass is for the water, which is in the container. That's why we are saying mass of the oil is the overall mass. That is oil plus the container minus the mass of the container alone that one will give us the mass of the oil. 75, which is the overall mass of the container and water, minus 25 gives us the mass of the water. And this water is exactly the same volume as the oil. So what we get here from the definition of relative density becomes our relative density. What is it? 47 out of 30. 47 out of 50. I hear that is the answer. If there is anything, we may have to ask where someone started our primary, but we shall not ask it now. Is it true? Yes, teacher. Good. So what is the answer? We don't always give our yes, answer. Yes, teacher. What's the answer? 0.94. Uh, 0.94. 
And you get zero point. What is the 72 minus this? 50. <laughs> 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 We told you this is month. So the drums cancel. Again, the answer has no units. So the relative density is 0 0.94 of this oil. Are we together? I remember as you get where you are getting tired is very scary. And then Baba is meaning you. But you are about to go and sleep, don't worry. The lesson is we are even past time. Yeah. Finally, I just want to mention one. Yeah, now we don't try to go for how to work. You don't have? House work, we don't want. Don't want to. Yeah? We want to be in class for some time. Like one time just. For but Muslims have to go for school. In fact, it is you wasting the time now. I would have finished. That's what I wanted to say. What do we use the relative test? Yeah, and then the system for us to start a relative test. I say yes. One application is the same as the application for density. It enables us to find the purity of substances. If I know the relative density of copper, I just have to get and maybe I come across any rock which appears like copper. I just do an experiment to determine its relative density. If it is the same as the one I know as the standard one, then I know that is copper. If they don't match, then it is not copper. Just like we said with density, it is the same application. Now the second application here is enables us to tell Asha please milk. Uh -huh. uh, the second application is it tells us whether a substance can float in water or sink in water or get submerged. If the relative density of a substance is greater than one, this substance will always not, I mean, will always sink in water. Once the relative density is greater than one, this object sinks in water. Asha, me. If the relative density is less than one, the object floats in. Basically, that is what we have to know about this. Relative density enables us to identify whether a substance is able to float or sink in water. Relative density is than one, less than one, but what we should nice lunch. When we come back, we are starting a new chapter, matter and its properties.
This was a summary to ensure that all of us are at the same level. Okay. Ah. Thank you, teacher, for the lesson. Okay. Those who are happy, thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher.